Okay, so as soon as we stopped working yesterday, we were like 10 minutes from being done for the day. Angela, my brother Angelo's wife, fell right out of the front door, and she's the one that's like a week away from having a baby, so they had to spend the night in the hospital to make sure that, well, she's okay, because her knee became a giant balloon, and of course to make sure that the baby's okay, they told her to come in. So they are in the hospital. I'm gonna try to keep going here and do what I can. I'm gonna paint the, finish painting the laundry room where we were almost done last night and paint the half bath. And then I'm gonna try to get all the vanities in. Well, I actually only have one more, but that's a heavy one. Honestly, do whatever I can. Laundry room cabinets, pantry cabinets. Um, there's a slop sink that goes in the laundry room. Maybe I'll do that. Laundry room is done. I do not like using this nine inch roller. We have 18 inch rollers and big pans that I like to use, but all these smaller rooms. Last night we were just trying to do the small room. So I was like, let me just set up a little pan because all the big ones are full of, we just put them inside a bag so they stay wet, full of primer and sealing peel. So this room's next is the half bath. Okay, half bath and laundry room are painted. Now I'm gonna put the, um, this is the slop sink for the laundry room. So we just got a butcher block countertop. It's gonna go on top of this and then we'll cut the sink in it. We are waiting on a little nine inch cabinet that goes right here next to it. But I'm gonna get this one in. So I have to cut out the pipes. And then after that, I have to do the half bath vanity. And then I have two cabinets over here that go in the pantry, so I'm gonna just try to get all that stuff in its place, get it out of the way. And then Ange just got back, everything was okay. She just had to be monitored all night. So he's gonna start painting the massive bedroom. And now since one, you know, close call came, we're gonna focus on this and that bathroom and the laundry room. So they have a bedroom, a bathroom, washer dryer, and then slop sink, so a sink too will be in the laundry room. Then if she did, hasn't had the baby then, we'll just keep going, you know, the rest of the house. Right now, we're just trying to do the very important stuff. And these cabinets are nothing crazy. These are actually just, they're in stock, unfinished cabinets. Um, they're not, you know, they're, they are nice. Some people will say the particle board sides are not nice, yada, yada, yada. I honestly think it does not matter, especially for something like this, a laundry room, a pantry, or just like extra cabinets. These are perfect. They look nice. The doors are built very nice. That's all solid wood. Um, the frame is all solid wood. And that's really all that matters. We're gonna paint them. It's gonna look just as good as anything else you could buy, so. These are probably a third of the price of regular cabinets that come painted from the factory. Now when you get them from the factory anyway, you have imperfections in the paint, which happens all the time. Okay, now we're in your pantry. So let's get two cabinets in here. It's gonna be a little coffee bar area. This is actually like almost exactly like mine and Corby's pantry. We have two completely different houses, but a couple of the rooms in the houses are almost exactly the same. See, so we're using the same unfinished cabinets for here. It's a nice little coffee bar. I think this is 48 inches. This is uh, bigger than that. It's like four and a half feet. So I'll have microwave up here, one more cabinet, and then coffee machine, ice machine. Basically, the same setup we got. It's really nice. I like to put the shims along the wall, make this nice and straight. No matter how many cabinets you have, you never have enough storage, so. This is nice in the pantry, especially the big drawers. Those ones we have to wait for. It's gonna be one, two. I think I'll put the butcher block on real quick, that way that's done. While I'm in this room. 55 and a half.
Let's go see. I might not screw it on just because we might take it off the paint again, but we'll see. tighter on the wall so you can touch it in the back corner and then open in the front that's only because of the spackle i'm going to see if angelo is doing tile backsplash if he is we can leave it like that doesn't matter if he's not we're going to cut it make it nice and tight so they're not doing tile right away so i just marked it i'm going to cut it now much much better And now we're touching the whole way. Nice unfinished cabinets. We have to put a panel here, but that's okay. We have the plywood in the garage. Very nice, very simple, very cost effective. And after the paint and knobs and everything, as good as anything else you can get. Now onto the half bath, and Angelo is painting in the master. So this is the half bath right here. That's a nice vanity, matches the floor perfectly. Okay, this one is in. Definitely too small in here for the camera, so I put the faucet on while I was doing it and the little backsplash piece, so there you go. That's a half bath. Gotta get the toilet still and the mirror and lights, but that'll probably be on Wednesday because our brother Dave's gonna be working here too because he has off Wednesdays, um, so he'll probably go around and hook up all the little stuff while I'm doing just some bigger stuff, but we'll see how much we get done t by Wednesday anyway. Okay, so vanities are in, cabinets in the pantry and laundry room are done, Angelo's rolling the master bedroom now, and he's starting to paint the pantry. I got the attic steps done, they're ready to go up. We just need bigger nails for the trim gun, so they're gonna get those tomorrow and then we can put them up. Right now, I am going to spackle some of the stuff that the spackle guys missed, unfortunately, but we don't wanna paint it unless it's ready, unless it's good, so. I'm gonna do that and, and just paint in that bedroom. Right here, they actually had a crack in the spackles. We didn't notice till after we primed. I'm gonna put some fiberglass tape. covered all the floors with paper. Now we're cutting and painting all the ceilings. I'm on the most annoying one right now. This is 12 foot. I gotta use the stilts and then kitchen is done. Got one coat in the breakfast room, one coat on each of these rooms. So it's looking good. Okay, so I think I missed two days of filming. Um, we, uh, what is, on Tuesday, we all had something to do, so we only worked like three or four hours, and we were trying to just like run as fast as we can and work. We hung up a lot of the light fixtures, got a bunch of stuff on. We got all the recessed lights in, like chandeliers. Our dad and our brother Dave worked those four hours too, so we were just trying to run. We got some vanity lights on. We hook up the couple of the tubs. We got three out of the four toilets in. We just filled up our day with who can do, who can get what done and how quick. So we all went in different directions and hooking stuff up. And then yesterday we, it was just back to me and Ann, so we did all the trim in the house. Uh, we trimmed the whole house pretty much in one day. We worked pretty late and uh, got all the windows done, all the doors, 
and then this morning we just had to go around and nail the floor trim so we, that took like two hours and then we started caulking now we are painting the hallway and angelo is painting the master bathroom he's in there we're gonna finish now that all the trim is done most of i, I think we only have two light fixtures to hang up oh no four light fixtures to hang up and that's all on the master side so pretty much this whole side of the house it's messy but it's the plumbing's done electric's done trim's done now we a lot of paint left but that's that's okay like you can live in the house and paint it's a little annoying but not the end of the world so this is pretty much ready besides the kitchen which I just got a message the cabinets are in, so we might go pick those up tonight, we'll see. And, and uh, so now we're gonna focus on the master side of the house, which is the master bedroom, bathroom, closet, um, and the laundry room, which I'm, I'm cleaning right now. I'm getting this ready, taking the paper up. We're still waiting on this one cabinet, but that's okay. You can always just slide that in when it gets here in like a week or two. Um, I'm going to clean the floor, vacuum everything, I'll throw some outlets on, covers, and uh, finish hooking up this sink. And then we're going to go grab the washer and the dryer. Probably bring those in tonight, so... Got the dryer, now we're going to get the washer. Dryers in. I'll turn it on. Well, we gotta turn the electric and water on. Over. All right, now, now let's do the closet. We have to fix the wires in the closet. The master closet. The spray foam. Oh, let me get the light real quick. When the insulation guy came, he sprayed the wire, the spray foam, but it. Pinched up. All the wires are stuck now, it's too short, so we have to go up there and take them out. We got one longer. Now Angelo's up there pulling the staples for this one. The one is good, just that one you're doing it, I need more. Right there is good. Yeah, that's good. Yep, yeah, that's good. Okay, I got all four wired up. And one minute truth. Okay. Oh, great, there we go. Finally don't need this spotlight in here anymore. Okay, closet is officially done. Just besides, we have to clean and put the outlet covers on and we're done. Now we're going to work in the master bath, try to put the sink on, the vanities on, the lights on. That's really all that needs to be done. Besides do the same thing, outlet covers and clean up. And we need the marble sill. But I think we're gonna do all the marble sills last after we clean all the floors. So we just put them down, grout them, let them dry, and that's it. Okay, we brought the vanity in. I just put the toilet on. Now I'm gonna hook up these sinks. Okay, I got the faucets on. I got the underneath hooked up. I'm just putting the lights on now. And this light, this one came with no little screws to hold the glass up. So now we have to try to go on Amazon and try to find them. Um, but <clears throat> the light's up and of course I have to spackle two little holes where the wires were poking out. But that's not a big deal. Now I'm gonna hook up the mirror, or I'm gonna hang the mirrors. And then the whole vanity area is done. The heavens have heard us. Angela has not had the baby yet. It is Monday now, so we made it that whole week over the weekend, and now we're starting a new week. So that's not so great for us or her, but good for us because now we can do the second coat of paint on the living space and start cleaning up. We're gonna take all the paper up, we're gonna vacuum. Hopefully this paint only takes us like two hours. We did one coat of paint and then put all the trim on just the way it worked out. So now we have to 
only cut around the windows one time and the floor trim so they can roll that second time. Angelo is starting to clean, pick up the paper, organizing all the mess. It's funny how many tools you use, you don't notice until you start to clean them up. Now I'm gonna hang the towel bars and the hooks in all the bathrooms. Then we can clean the bathrooms. Just trying to get all the little stuff done while he cleans. And we're pretty much, we're right at the finish line now. We just need a lot of light bulbs and we have to put outlet plates on, just little stuff. I do not like putting these things on because they give you these little tiny outlet keys and you can only do that a quarter turn at a time. It's like the absolute worst. Okay, we are getting really cleaned up. Okay, so we have bathrooms cleaned up, hallway, bedrooms, bedrooms cleaned up, uh, today we're going to start the morning with turning on the water and get that running. It's funny we were in such a rush and like as big as Angela is and as far as she is pregnant we were certain that she was going to have a baby by now. So now everything else we get done is a bonus. So we went from rushing to taking our time. You could turn the hoses on too while you're there unless you want them off. Let's go in the half bath. We have water. Finally. It's the best feeling. Electric is a great feeling. And then water, I wanna say, I don't know, even better maybe, because now you can, because we're running outside to use the hose for everything, and I guess they're both pretty good. Now we're gonna do the half bath. Okay, let me turn the toilet on. Okay, we're good. Is there a separate shut off for the washer for the laundry room? Yeah, I think these are full already. That's good. Um, and then we'll go to your bathroom. I'm just turning on the vanity first. Good. Okay, you can do the hot and you can do the hot. This one is clogged. Got one clogged faucet. I'm gonna fix it. Okay, I wish I just had that on tape, but I missed it. The hot was so clogged, and I don't know what, because we didn't even use solder. We only used PEX and I unscrewed the, you know, thing to wash it out and there was so much pressure, it just exploded. And of course, all over the freshly painted ceiling. So, if we can't wash that off, we'll probably be repainting today. Um, I don't even know what it was. It's just like dirt, it looks like just dirt. Just dirt, but I don't know how there's dirt in any of the pipes. It's all just plastic, no solder, no anything. Okay, so we had one toilet leaking. And of course it's the worst toilet to be leaking because there's like no space in here. So I have to take it off and try to shimmy it out here and then put it back in. Uh, which I don't know how it's leaking because I, I used two wax rings on this one. The only thing I could think of is, uh, I don't know, I just put it down crooked or something or jiggled it too much. I don't know, we'll see. Okay. There's a pile of the old wax rings. Toilet's back on. All good, no leaks. You can see the grout from the original leak. The grout was wet. And I just put the toilet paper holder on. I forgot that yesterday. Now I'm gonna go and wire the hot water heater so we can get that running. Okay, here she is. It's 80 gallon. This is a a heat pump water heater. Me and Dave and Ange, we all got the same one, 80 gallon.
Okay, here we go. Hot water heater. It's a double 30 amp. And we have power. And it's starting to starting to get hot. So this these things are really cool too. You hook them up to your phone. It's got alarms, different modes, energy saver, high demand, heat pump. We'll keep it on heat pump now. It's really cool. Oh, it just kicked on too. There we go.